Farming can be challenging at the best of times, but when you live close to the edge, as many people do in parts of Africa's Sahel region, drought can push you over. That's the situation facing over 18 million people in the Sahel region in West Africa. Drought and erratic rains have crippled harvests, leaving many people hungry. In some areas, crops that did grow were almost completely destroyed by an insect infestation. Les trois repas ne sont pas assurés. C'est peut-être un repas qui est assuré pendant les périodes de crise alimentaire. L'autre élément, les crises alimentaires, c'est aussi la perte des biens. La perte des biens, c'est quoi En période de crise alimentaire, les populations vendent tout ce qu'ils ont. Ils vendent ça à des prix vraiment très bas. S'ils ont des chèvres, la population, les gens vendent leurs chèvres pour trouver à manger. During a visit to the region in May, the executive director of the Food Grains Bank, Jim Cornelius, saw many households where grain storage bins were empty. He says that until the next harvest in the fall, they will need help to survive. And he was left with little doubt that relief efforts are essential. Canadian Food Grains Bank is responding through its members to food needs in the Sahel. It has committed $10 million of assistance to help 278,000 people in the region, in Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali. With the next harvest not due until October, this emergency assistance is saving lives and addressing longer-term food security issues that tackle the root causes of hunger. This includes projects that are teaching new farming techniques, helping farmers preserve precious moisture, and equipping people to grow off-season gardens or learn other income-generating skills. You can help people in the Sahel by donating to the Food Grains Bank's Sahel Food Emergency Appeal you are providing much needed assistance to people in the region. And donations made before September 30th will be matched dollar for dollar by the Canadian government's Sahel Food Crisis Fund. <laughs>